Hello everyone and today we will be customizing Windows 11. So I know that Windows 11 looks actually quite nice, but I will uh, elevate the Windows 11 experience with this tutorial to customize actually Windows 11. So follow along with these steps uh, so you will completely transform your Windows 11 experience. So right now if we go to the browser I here, uh, I prepared actually here some links that we will actually use to transform our windows. So basically the first one is actually Windows 11 cursor that we will use for this tutorial. So if I download this um, uh, this uh, Windows cursor, I can and I can also say that uh, these steps are all optional and you can do them by yourself on your Windows system. So with this tutorial. So uh, follow along with this one. So if we go to the downloads right here and I just downloaded Windows 11 cursor, uh, because I think this Windows cursor currently in Windows 11 is from actually Windows 8, I believe. So right now I will extract all these cursors right here. So extract Windows 11 cursor. Right now when I extract it, you have all these um, dark and light theme, but you have also some alternatives. For example, a uh, classic and of course a uh, night theme for this cursor, but I will use the dark theme for this cursor. Uh, you can also use a uh, light or some uh, alternatives by your personal preference. So I will right click on the install, it will be the same on the light theme. So right click on the install, uh, show, more pro uh, show more options and click install right here and click open. Right now you will be prompted with administration um, uh, privileges and you will click yes right here. So the theme are actually installed. So you will all actually open, uh, the mouse properties will open itself and you will select Windows 11 cursors, cursors dark by Jeffrey creation. So I will click apply right here and click yes and click OK. As you can see, we have brand new Windows 11 cursor uh, just applied on this system. So right now, if I go back to the uh, web browser, I will actually download this module of clocks for a uh, rain meter skin actually. And I will download uh, this um, uh, rain meter skin from DeviantArt. I will also put all the links for this um, uh, tab right here uh, in the description down below so you can check, it, check them out by yourself. So if we go actually for this to work we will need to actually use rain meter which uh, is actually released uh, a few days ago a brand new uh, stable version 4.5.0 um, and I will download this uh, rain meter um, that up access right now and we also need image uh, magic actually to work with this module clock clocks uh, widget so i will download this access right now as well so click save file and this one should download right now but if rain meter actually downloaded i will click setup extra right now and install rain meter on my system right now click install right here and click yes right here and the rain meter should uh, install on my system and I will put run rain meter uh, and as you can see the rain, rain meter is currently running with all these uh, default widgets I will click unload skin right here on this one and also on this one on system one and on this one so I disabled all the default skins from rain meter I will go back to the browser and the image magic just uh, completed uh, downloading and I will uh, install the this program as well so the um, clock widget will work with uh, the rain meter so I will click next right here next and next right here so here we have all these options I think this these options are all good to go so click next right here and install click next right here here and finish so image magic display is actually installed we can actually delete the, um, the this shortcut so shift to delete on the, your keyboard and click yes right here and go back to the downloads folder and click module clocks we will install module clocks right here click install so uh, jack score we will need to install jack, jack score actually uh, as you can see it is installing in rain meter it's checking everything is installed if i can click continue jack score is actually this is the developer on deviantart check him out a really nice developer and it has a lot more skins and of course some i think keyboard shortcut manager so uh, I will put add shortcuts to my program list or me maybe even desktop folder or I can disable this one so I don't need them so sure maybe later and I will put right here feature highlights all these settings in this rain meter skin I think it looks quite nice 
so support me so support the developer i will click here maybe later and as you can see we have uh, i can click x on this one and i will actually go to the modular clocks that we just installed we are up to date appearance general we have the clock right here render and all these settings right here so i will click here on the left on the left bottom activate skin right here and skin is should be activated as you can see it follows along with the theme and as you can see it looks quite nice but here we have a, a lot more styles so for example this one um and uh, of course i will put uh, this one or this one actually i think this one looks quite nice and i will put smart options right here skill scaling uh, skin scaling i think this is a uh, nice uh, um, uh, good on one and aligned i will put to the center so i will type center right here so center the skin is actually aligned right now on the center weather and date you can disable that but i will put it um as it is so i will close this one and put this clock on the middle i believe it looks quite nice right here on the middle and I will go back to the uh, our uh, our web browser. So Lively Wallpaper is actually uh, uh, a new program that I found out on the GitHub actually, and it's uh, an al free alternative to a wallpaper engine. So we can download uh, actually Lively Wallpaper right here, but uh, you have you can get it from the Microsoft Store. But I will also uh, use it with installer. So I will put installer right here, and I will save the file as you can see right here. So file is actually downloading right now, lively setup. I, as I said before, this is the free alternative to the wallpaper engine. So I will click left click on the setup X right here on the lively wallpaper, uh, as you can see right here. And it should actually uh, install on the system right now. But beforehand, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will put this one to install for all users. Click yes right here. Click OK right here and click Next. I click Accept the Agreement, click Next and start with Windows and create a desktop shortcut. Short shortcut, I can do this as well. So click Install right here and it's now extracting the lively wallpaper files. So as you can see, the extracting the files are actually succeeding, but right now I will go to the personalizing my taskbar settings. So for example, we have all these buttons in the taskbar. So third button, I don't think this is necessary because if we actually click on the Windows 11 start button, um, you have search already here. And here is the also the task view button. I don't think uh, this one uh, is good very well because I don't use it. Uh, I usually use um, Windows tab or Alt tab and widgets I don't use them also. So I will go to the taskbar settings right here. So as you can see, lively wallpaper completed installing. Installing. So I will go to the taskbar settings and I will disable all these three buttons. So uh, off, off and off with these three buttons. So if we go back to our actually lo lo lively wallpaper, I will click finish right here and launch the lively wallpaper. And you can choose some brand new uh, free, actually free um, um, live wallpapers for your desktop. So. The lively wallpaper should start right about now. So click next right here, start with Windows, check it on. I will put user interface to the normal. And of course, taskbar team, I will, uh, you can also change the, uh, the taskbar team, but I will currently put it to the off in my personal preference. So this, all these steps, as I said before, are actually optional and you can apply them by your system by taking your own risk. So make sure to create actually a system restore point before doing anything in this video. So right now we have the lively wallpaper and we can put actually some nice wallpapers on our system. So for example, right now I can uh, check the Rain V version two for the uh, my wallpaper on this desktop. As you can see, it looks quite nice, but you can choose whichever you would like so your personal preference guys and you can also uh, add some more wallpapers from the web actually gifs and many uh, other uh, animated uh, things from the web so i think this one looks quite nice uh, this animated wallpaper right now i will delete the left shortcut from the lively wallpaper and i will also remove the recycled bin uh, icon on my desktop so right now if I, we go to the start right now go to the settings Go, go to the personalization, we go to the themes, 
we go to the teams and we have here the option desktop icon settings right now as you can see desktop right settings and I will uncheck the recycle bin so we will hide actually the recycle bin but before that you can actually and maybe a uh, ping to the start so you will have the recycle bin on the start menu i will click apply right now the taskbar should uh, be hidden right now and i will uh, close the uh, settings right now as you can see we have recycle bin also on the start but the last program that i will actually use is a rounded taskbar so this one actually helps to create uh, some like Im immersive taskbar on our Windows 11 system. So this is demo preview release and it actually isn't very stable, but I will use it anyways for this tutorial. So keep in mind that it isn't very stable. So I will download this file right now and I will actually also create a Twix um, folder on our, on our system directory. So local disk C, I will create Twix folder right now. Uh, so I will create click new and folder right here and I will put Twix right here and actually I will go to the folder itself where I downloaded the rounded taskbar and close this one right here uh, close the uh, browser actually because we will uh, not be downloading anything anymore so right now run the taskbar right here I will click right click it extract all and I will put it actually to the browse section and I will put the extracted file to the um, uh, tweaks folder that we just actually created. So right now to the local disk C and tweaks and I will select the folder and I will click extract right here. So as you can see, the uh, these files are actually uh, um, extracted to the C and tweaks folder. Right now, if we go to the downloads, we can actually delete everything from the downloads folder so you will have uh, a clean system uh, overall so i will select them all and shift delete them and click yes right now i will just uh, uh, go to the this extracted folder for, for the rounded taskbar actually and i will uh, select the rounded taskbar as you can see and i will close all these files right here and I will click more on info and run anyway. And as you can see, the rounded taskbar should pop up uh, right about now, uh, just in a minute. So click OK right here. And we have all these settings. So margin, I will set it to the zero actually. And click advanced and I will click dynamic mode. And I will click apply. And close rounded taskbar preview app. So as you can see, the windows is currently looking very, very nice. So. Thank you again for following uh, this tutorial. Maybe consider subscribing to this particular channel. Like this video and comment down below if you actually uh, decided to customize your Windows 11. And with that being said, thank you again for watching this video in particular. See you guys in the next one. Peace.